Hi, welcome to uh, Strategy Vision Change for Management 300. I'm Elaine Poganchev, and this material covers uh, the topics in Unit 9, Strategic Leadership. Organization performance isn't a matter of luck, uh, determined largely by the choices that a leader makes. Knowing the organization's environment, um, understanding what it might be like in five or ten years, and then setting a direction for the future is really what strategic leadership is all about. The domain of strategic leadership covers vision, mission, strategy, and then some method for aligning the organization for implementation of change. Let's talk about leadership vision first. What is vision? It's something that someone's attracted to. Definition here, an attractive, ideal future that's credible, yet not readily attainable. The key component is that you can figure out from the present how you can get to the future. It's not a large leap. Vision is supposed to energize people, get them excited. A third element is that it gives meaning to the work that your employees are doing or your team members. The vision is what we strive for in terms of excellence. Here are some common themes for visions. The important thing to remember here is that a vision is a dream for the future, something that people can buy into, that they're attracted to, and helps to define a destination to which we are going. Second domain is mission. And we always say it's the reason for or the core uh, reason for being. Why are we even in existence? A mission works hand-in-hand in hand with a vision. Usually in a mission you can gather uh, the organization's core values. Many times if there's a mission prior to a vision, it is the base for creating the vision. In other words, it's what does this organization stand for in the great scheme of things. For organizations to be successful, they need ways to take that vision, those values, the mission, and need to be able to put it into action. And that's what strategy is all about. It's the set of decisions and actions used to formulate and implement specific strategies. These strategies are supposed to achieve a fit between the organization and its environment so that it can achieve its goals. Here's a more succinct definition. It includes the concept of resource allocation. And that is, what are we going to do with what we have in order to get to where we need to go? Here's a couple of terms you may want to know in relation to strategy formulation. The first is synergy. You may have heard me use this in class many times. Synergy is the combination of two or more elements that creates a response or an effect that is greater than if you just added those parts together. You've heard it said that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And that is what synergy, in essence, is saying. Another term is called value creation, and that is what kind of value are you putting together for your customers? You want strategies to be both synergistic and to create value. Let's talk a little bit about the leader's contribution towards stimulating vision and action planning. This little illustration is from Daft's book, but he bases it on the work of William Hitt, H-I-T-T. Here are four types of leader. The dreamer, the effective leader, the doer, and the uninvolved. Notice the axes. The vertical axis on the left is vision, from low vision to high vision. And the horizontal axis on the bottom is action, low action to high action. Let's talk a little bit about the characteristics of each of these styles. The uninvolved leadership style is really not a leader style at all really low on vision and low on action. If we look at the doer, we see all action and very little vision. This style is a person who works hard and is dedicated, but they tend to be working blindly without goals in mind. The dreamer is high on vision, but low on action. Good for ideas, an inspiring leader, but not very good at implementing any strategic action. The effective leader is a big dreamer and a big doer, a person who can transform dreams into significant action plans and implementation. Now go to part two.